Hi guys, it's Mariska from Design by Mariska and today we are here in the studio of Jessica Watson Thorpe. Hello. <laughs> Hi, so Jessica, please introduce yourself to our audience. <laughs> My name is Jessica Watson Thorpe. I'm a fine artist based here in Dubai. Um, I've been working professionally for about 20 years. Um, studying fine art at university, been based in Dubai for five years, although the region for uh, 14. Originally I'm from Australia, small farming town, um, but um, I've always been creative, you know, from the minute I could, I could walk I've been creative. Um, trip to Africa could have sort of sparked me off with colour and it's just been an ongoing journey from there. Oh wow, that's awesome. So is that where your journey started with your art in, in Africa? Um, no, I would say my journey started, I'm from quite a creative family, so my grandmother, a lot of my aunts, a lot of my cousins, even my father are very creative people. So I was nurtured all throughout my life, I mean I was painting oils when I was six, um, every holiday we went on as a family we were doing something creative, my aunts and uncles would run creative workshops, so I was sort of um, trained on the ground I'd say in a family setting um, and had lots and lots of support. So my skills were uh, nurtured throughout my young years, um, but it was when I was in my late teens that I first went to South Africa, and colour sort of hit me in the face, and that was sort of led me on my journey from there. Colour is a big thing for my work. Oh wow, that sounds great. What jobs have you done other than being an artist? Interesting question. So um, I've only ever wanted to do one job, which was to be an artist, which I'm doing now. Although, as we all know, along the road, we have to do other things to keep us going. Um, so, I mean, university days, I was a swimming teacher, I've worked on a flower farm, I've actually worked in an abattoir when I wanted to travel and get some extra money because in my hometown that was the highest paying place to be. Um, since then, I've also, aside from my degree in painting, I've done a PGSC in teaching. So I've taught art in schools, I've also taught full primary, um, and that's where I still bring in those educational skills for my workshops today um, that I like to run here in Dubai. Oh wow, that sounds great. So what would a typical day in your life be? Yes, typical day. Well, luckily my four children now are all at school, so it gives me a lot more scope for my own creative work. So I'm usually up quite early in the studio at seven. Um, I try and do my creative work first, so my hands on painting, my hands on printing, working with materials, um, you know, in a, in a physical, uh, practical way first for a few hours. Um, once I'm waiting on drying time or if I'm saturated by paint or ink or the creative experience to take a break, and that's when I'll look at my emails, um, check in with clients, arrange meetings and that kind of things. Uh, people will be booking in for workshops uh, from my studio, which I run for women. Um, and then later on in the day, I have to collect my children, you know, and then do, do all of the school one stuff. I try and squeeze in some exercise somewhere amongst there, but um, generally it's in the studio, and then my administrative stuff for work, and then in the, in the afternoons, from about mid-afternoon, I'm basically ch child focused. So that's, that's a typical wow. day. Full yeah. day. Full day. Full day. Very cool. If you could go any destination in the world, where would you go and why? My passion, as you've learned, is for Africa. Um, I'd go anywhere in Africa tomorrow, just to see the people, to see the colours, to get the feeling, to smell the smells. Um, I was just in Tanzania recently doing creative outreach and I found that extremely fulfilling. I'm hoping to do more of that in the future. Um, take me to Africa and my heart's happy. Oh wow, amazing. So what is the best advice that you were ever given? You know, it's, um, it's tough today because uh, society generally is not focused on the arts. Um, there's a lot of um, importance placed on science and um, mathematics and that kind of thing. Um, even though there's a lot of pressure at school um, to go that way and to be the same as everyone else, the best advice I've received it's just to follow your heart, follow your passion, turn what you love into your profession, uh, means you can't go wrong really, um, and, and your path will kind of unfold in front of you. And what would be your advice for any young artist starting out? Yeah, it's not easy working in the arts, whether it's performance, whether it's music, fine art, um, it's not that easy to get yourself up and running. So firstly, you have to have the talent, if you've got the talent, that's one thing, secondly, you need to develop your own skills and your own work. So it's not just learning how to paint like 
uh, Picasso and doing his style. No, you've got to develop your own theme and your own way of working so that you need to be unique. Once you've done that, you need to build up a body of work. Once you've got a body of work, then you can start uh, taking it to galleries, taking it to various people, companies, uh, reaching out with your work, getting your work shown. Um, raw talent's not enough, however, you still need to have good organisation, uh, self-discipline in terms of timing, um, and the ability to drive yourself, because you're not working for anyone, you're working for yourself. If you want to make it happen, you're going to have to do that on your own. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, some good advice. Thank you so Hopefully. much. So, Jessica, what is your favourite piece and why? So my favourite piece is this one. It's called Havani's Butterfly, um, named after my second daughter, actually. And I'll never sell it. It's, it's my favourite, it's actually for her. So it was inspired by her birth. Um, when she was born, I actually did hypnobirthing to prepare for the birth, and I had a vision of this butterfly. And I decided to paint it. And I did this painting within the month before she was born. Um, and it really signifies her. I mean, it's joyous, it's colourful, um, her birth was beautiful, it was an amazing experience. Um, so this remains today, um, after 11 years, my favourite piece. Um, I'm still working on this series, um, but this one, yeah, this is a very special place in my heart. Is, you've, you've talked about your workshops, do you yes. maybe want to just mention something about that? Yeah, so I've, I've, I run a series of creative workshops here in Dubai. Um, I offer workshops from my studio for women only, but I also offer private bookings for mixed groups and corporate. So these can be, they're aimed at getting people in touch with their own creativity again. It's usually something that you might have an interest in, but you haven't done it since school, you haven't done it for so many years, and you're feeling a little bit nervous. Um, so it's really an open forum where you can come and learn some skills um, and develop your own creativity in a safe environment. Um, in terms of companies and corporate, then it could be a team building. So some of the workshops are geared towards uh, collective creativity um, and learning new skills and taking risks in a different um, environment, which you can then take into the workplace. So corporate, corporate and personal, women only and mixed, um, I offer all of those and I take bookings quite regularly. Oh wow, cool. And the workshops are here? Um, for, for private bookings, um, they can either be here or in the person's home. Okay. Um, for corporate, it's always on their premises. Oh yeah. wow. Yes. Wow, that sounds really interesting. Yeah, it is. Yeah, very different. And I mean, there's a lot of paint by numbers kind of workshops uh, and art classes that go on, not only in Dubai, but around the world. But that's not what I do. I'm going to draw your own creativity out. So you might come out with something completely different to the person sitting next to you, to the person sitting next to them. So it's about fostering creativity, unlocking creativity. You're not going to all come out with the same picture of red painted poppies, for example. You come out with something different and you'll be part of your own piece and your creativity. Oh, wow. That yeah. sounds very interesting. Yep, very different. Thank you so much Thank you. for being on the channel and for actually opening up your door to, that we can view your studio Pleasure. and have a bit of insight of what it is to be an artist Thanks in today's world. So yeah. just as a little bit of a thank you gift, here is one of the design <laughs> by Mariska, Kiri. So, especially for you, thank you. From us. Oh, thank you very much. It's all made with Get espresso. Is it? Yes, the oh. espresso pod. Well done. Brilliant. So, yeah, thank you so thank much. You. For thank you. Thank cool. you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up or consider subscribing to the channel. Have a wonderful day and go and make something beautiful.